Yeah, Coach, you want to start with Terry. Uh, Frank said the x-rays came back negative. He did. Uh, looks like he's got a dislocated elbow, um, which, depending on how serious it is, it's his left arm. It's not his throwing arm, so hopefully he'll be able to play through it next week. We'll see. We'll see on. We'll see more tomorrow, but we'll have a better idea when we go out to practice on Tuesday. And to follow up real quick on the offense, what were your biggest takeaways from uh, what you saw from them? There, there were drives uh, that were getting down the field, um, just weren't able to capitalize. No, we we, uh, we did some things in spurts, but still not not good enough. I mean, we've gotten way too many quarters without scoring touchdowns. Uh, we're we're giving them up. We're playing with enough opportunities on defense, but we're not capitalizing on offense. And then we're not giving them a chance to. Uh, I mean, we're not putting the ball in the end zone, which you don't score, you don't have a chance to win. We got to make plays when we throw the ball. We got to make the 50-50 balls on both sides. And then I thought we we blocked them a little better at times up front on the running game. We got to be a lot more consistent though. So we've got to come up with some more smoke and mirrors to give them a chance. Who else? Hey, Danny. Danny, late in that fourth quarter, was there a thought to, to, to put uh, Terry on the bench just because it was so late and the game was kind of out of reach? No, we're, we're in the process of still trying to build. Uh, we put CJ in because Trey was, I mean, uh, Terry was, we had to go look at his elbow to make sure everything's okay. But our starters were in there until the very end, and that will continue uh, as we build this thing. They've got the, I mean, it starts with attitude. They've got to believe in it, believe in themselves, and we're about 50-50 on that. That's the hardest thing to change. I and mean, I know I've got a lot of confidence in them. And we've got enough talent. We've just got to, we've got to believe in it and play better. Coach, what are some of the positive things you can take away from the game? I mean, what are some of the things you liked? It seemed like they didn't quit. Uh, the defense was playing phenomenal. Joey Noble had a great game. He had a strip for a touchdown. What are some of the things that you can take away and say, you know, or things you can fix? Well, the things we can fix, first and foremost, is not being dumb. I mean, we have, we have really too many penalties and, and just insignificant plays that are, are hurting us. I mean, we cut this lead to 17-7. We give them a kickoff return that goes to about the 40-yard line, and then we get a stop on first down, and we get a personal foul penalty for standing over a guy. That's selfish and undisciplined football. And we've got to grow out of that and mature out of that because that started off that drive, and then they, we get a pass interference call um, when we shouldn't get a pass interference call, and then we make a mistake uh, – down there hitting the knife, the running back on the quarterback pulls it and they score a touchdown. We took all the way to the momentum. We played really, really good at the beginning of the half, caused a turnover and get back in the game and then don't capitalize on that. So, I mean, the, the foolish things that we do to really put us in a bad hole, we've got to eliminate. And we'll continue to preach and continue. I mean, we didn't put a couple guys back in for a little while so that they can figure that stuff out. As big as, big as uh, Leah Taylor's uh, touchdown was, I mean, how big was that interception by Terry to end that first half? I thought it really crushed a lot of momentum and the offense put a drive together and we got down there. Uh, we put that one in, it's if, uh, and then we do the same thing on defense. It's going to be 14-17. It's a completely different ball game. Uh, the fourth down, we weren't kicking a field goal because field goals weren't going to win us this game and we're in it to win it. Uh, we've got to give ourselves a chance by executing on those um, I thought that was really, um, it, it was a, a big part of the game, but the, the touchdown that they scored right before that to make it 17, we got a guy coming off the edge that if he chokes it down and climbs the quarterback, we'll keep him out of the end zone. And then the fourth down that they converted on the pass, we got to make a better play in coverage. So, I mean, those, those little things are the difference between being a really, being a good football team and not, and right now we're not. We've got to, we've got to make those plays. And the majority of it is a belief. Um, I mean, it, we're still, nothing's changed from the day I got here to where we're building. I knew year two was going to be tough. We've got to continue to capitalize and grow on those, make those plays so that we have a chance to win these ball games. I mean, they're a good football team now. They're ranked in the top 25. They're 5-0. and uh, I think they're the best team in our league. And at times we've played with them. We've got to be able to clean up our mistakes so that we have a chance to play with them for 60 minutes and not in spurts. Danny, if, if, if Terry's not ready next week against Colorado State, do you know who's going to start? Nope. We'll, we'll determine that Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, we, we, have, uh, we can move Trey back. We've got Isaiah. We've got CJ. So we'll decide 
what, who gives us the best chance to, to win uh, with a week's preparation. Um, we'll see, hopefully, Terry. It's a, I mean, it's a dislocation, but it's not a throwing arm. So depending on how severe it is and how much swelling he has tomorrow, we'll determine whether or not he'll be able to play next week. And we've got a tough football team. I know that. We, we haven't, uh, I mean, guys get themselves off the field. They had to check Keontae Langer for a clavicle, and that came back negative. He's got a shoulder separation, which our guys have been playing through those. So, I mean, we, we've got to keep building on that. So, so Terry came off the field with, with his elbow dislocated, basically? He did. It took three doctors to get it back in, to, to get it back in, and they did. So he's a tough guy. There's no doubt about that. They've got it wrapped up right now, trying to eliminate some of the swelling, and we'll see how that goes, and we'll have a better idea Really not tomorrow um, because they know there's no break, so we won't have really a good idea until Tuesday when we go out there for practice. Coach, who are you most encouraged by with your defense tonight? They're willing to fight. I mean, I thought out of the second half, I thought we came out. We, uh, I mean, we got after them about believing in what they're doing. They're good enough. They've got to believe they're good enough. And I thought in the second half, they started out that way. Uh, I thought the drive that, that killed us was the one after we, after, after we scored on the fumble. Uh, we gave up the a penalty and then the pass interference, and then we pulled the ball on the, the touchdown. So I mean, we've got to continue to fight, and we'll get better on deep. We're, we're getting better on defense. Uh, we got to we got to play good enough to give our offense a chance when they're struggling that bad. But we've got to fix that. I mean, we won't have a chance to win games if we can't score any points offensively. Coach, you're pretty pleased with Darren Dumas' play. Excuse me. Say that one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron Dumas, are you pretty pleased with his I thought he ran effort? hard. Um, they blocked him a little bit better at times up front, and when we had a little bit of a seam, he was hitting it hard and getting positive yards. I thought Bobby in the second half ran a lot angrier than he's been running, which was a positive too. Uh, we've got to be more consistent and do it a heck of a lot more often.